What is up everyone, I'm back with another unboxing review. Today I have for you, everyone, the Stranger Things Void Series Vecna. Now, I was surprised when they were going to make this figure because I was like, what? Hopefully they make more, but I was like, hopefully they make more because there's, I mean, it's a weird variation of characters. But then now that they have more of a villain character as a figure too, I'm like, yes, that's going to be so good for stop motions, photo shoots, stuff like that. But, I hope they make more, I really want, like, a Steve, Nancy, another Hopper, because they have two 11s, so, a different Hopper, like, in the summer way, or in this cup uniform. But, Bandai, you have been making some good figures. These are things figures, like, the designing, whew, perfect. The pricing's a little bit much, but, I mean, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it but it's saying that it's not because the box is really good and the figures like Vecna I feel like it's the best the one that fits the best for the price so you might see a little bit of glare but that's all right uh, but yeah I got this guy I was waiting forever because I was like oh it's gonna get you released around this time okay and then Amazon which I was gonna buy it on originally wouldn't accept my card so I said okay fine I'll go somewhere else and buy it Bought it from a different website, and that website perfect. Like it was like day after day, or well, it took like three days to finally get it shipped out, or whatever. And then just had to wait like a week or so, and then boom, it's here. I got both of my figures that I wanted. I got this, and I got my Ash Williams figure. And then yeah, those are my two big last like figure buying thing together. Anyways, it was a really good price, really good shipping price, and everything like that, so, um, go buy your figures on TwitBiz.com, because they got everything, they got McFarlane, they got Star Wars, DC, Marvel, Bandai, um, the bigger scale figures, um, NECA, I think a few Diamond Select, and then whatever else, but really good company. That sounds cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this, and I'll be uh, be back with you all in a little bit. All right, so here's Vecna out of the packaging. Um, one thing I do want to say before to the review is, I wish these figures came with like accessories, like an accessory that would have been cool with him. Is maybe like veins or something like that, something with, with it, more of his veins or something, a rope. Something with his veins, and then possibly like the clock. The clock would have been a perfect accessory to come with this. Like some other figures, like Eleven Waffles, or uh, um, like the McFarlane ones had, you know. But you know, just so the price kind of equals it a little bit better. But anyways, so now let's get to the review. So he looks absolutely amazing. That's all I gotta say. Absolutely amazing. I think this is probably the one of the best ones they've worked on. I think. This and Eddie. I think these two are probably the best. Um, the other ones, I feel like they were made way before. Before the new season was actually out. Because they had like the uh, cassette tapes with them. And then, yeah. And then they just took the one, take the cassette figure out, and then just put it in different packaging, the new packaging, and then sold them with Strike Things 4. So. It's absolutely amazing, and let's get to it. <laughs> Keep him going on and off, you know, what do you mean? Anyways, so yeah, he's absolutely amazing. It's hard to make a stand. These figures don't have any pegs on their feet or anything, but I'd say if you want your figure to stand, like any of these type of figures to stand, the best thing to do is get one of those stands that, um, grabs on the back or whatever and helps them stand up. Those are the best to use for these. So, yeah. Only thing I like a little bit about is that he has like this longer hand and then the shorter hand. Like I would have been like, I would add him and then another accessory would have been like a shorter hand. So, maybe like both hands can have like a longer, on both sides of his arms can each have a longer fingered hand and then the shorter fingered hand, but I mean it's alright. You know, you get a variation of it. So 
spot. So let's go articulation first. So the head. You really can't move the head too much. You can literally go down a little bit. And then so the head like these are really like movable figures, like really like I just do this and he's like a freaking weedle. <laughs> but yeah. Say so the head you can't really turn too much either. You can Oh yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should turn this head pretty good though. Okay. But up, not too much, but down you can do it really good. Oh, he's got like a thing in his chest. A circle with it. Pith it, I'd say, or something like that. Arms, you can just pop them off. Because <laughs> of how they make them. Like they have this, here, let me show you. They have this circle thing in there. So, let's come a little loose. Um, and these little freaking joints are gonna zoom this out. Don't try to turn it too much. I'll try to pull it out too much because it's not that much. It's how much you can do, and you pull it, push it a little bit more, and it's just think. So, yeah, these, these figures are very, like, wiggly and very loose. So, moving them is not gonna be too good. But, yeah. I mean, the elbow joint's pretty good. Like that's pretty stiff, I'd say. So that's good. Um, the wrists, I don't specifically like these joints they have for the wrists and stuff because you can't really, you really have to move them around enough to make it where you can go in and out like this. And then, yeah. So it's very kind of weird. But overall, it's pretty good. And then, yeah, kind of both hands can do the same thing. You know, like, ram, boom, bam, shabam, and then, yeah. And then, he does have a, another one right there in his waist. See that? Yeah. And then his legs. Won't say move too much, you can do that. On the side a little bit. On the other side a little bit. Can't really go back because of his ass. You can go forward though, but not too much back. And you gotta maneuver it around where it'll be good. You know? And then the knees are a little bit loose too. So you can see how easily you see I'm barely even holding on. It's like, hmm. Hmm. So, but still gonna figure out. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so there's that, and then that feet, you can, they're just on a freaking spinny joint, so you can just spin around, it's like bam, 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 and, and out of them, and then that's pretty much it, so now I'm going to show you guys close up on stuff, so, I think you can actually, you can pop up the fucking light though, you can auto pattern. pulling the leg too much. So yeah, and then this is like the DC figure I just reviewed. Freaking out. Uh, it's got like an underwear piece on there to keep it, you know, together right there. And his freaking claws are sharp actually. Like those are scratching me a little bit. Like those are actually kinda sharp, I'm not gonna lie. Like damn. But your claws are way over here. So I'll give you our so here's his face. It looks amazing. Chest, hand, boom, 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 and waist, legs, defeat, back, man. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna do. I, like I usually say, I'm gonna do like a full 360, so we can get a good look at it and we get a good, good look at it soon here because of the 360 being posed like this I think he's taking somebody and then he's falling over <laughs> I drunk I did a drunk <laughs> alright but yeah he's very very like yeah. rock and roll like Donald 
very, very freaking flimsy figure. So, yeah. But, um, I'll, I'll, I'll say afterwards. But now I'm going to go through 60, the pictures, stuff like that. I'll take pictures of the box so you guys can see what that looks like. And everything, too. Yeah, so like I said, this guy's going to be it's hard to make him stand. So if you can try and buy, if you get this figure, try and buy or not sure your things. Fluid series figures. Um, try to buy one of those stands where it claps onto their waist their stomach and then it'll have them stand because then once in a while you'll finally get it it will stand his feet look like freaking monkey feet that's all i gotta say <laughs> but anyways 360 and then i'll go to outro and talk about something i'm doing potentially this summer so minutes hours days weeks months years decades each life a faded lesser copy of the one before wake up eat work sleep reproduce and die Alright, so you go everyone, there is the Fikna Void Series Bandai figure, unboxing and review. Overall, amazing figure, I'm going to say, <sighs> probably 7 out of 10 again, like a DC figure. Because honestly, it's really flimsy, you know, it doesn't come with accessories, so it's got to be a 7 out of 10. would have been an 8 out of 10 if it was not flimsy, but then like a 9 out of 10 if I had like one accessory, but then it would have been a 10 out of 10. Accessories, um, you know, just more to it, um, better pricing, and everything else, all that. Really bad, but the design is perfect, it's the art detailing is amazing, you know. And yeah, like I said about these ones, these ones were probably older made, the 11 and Hopper. I feel like they were. Made when sure things three was in mm -hmm, with the cassette tapes, and then they finally decided hmm, let's just make a whole line out of these and sell for sure things for. I hope they make more like Steve, Nancy, um, let's see, Robin, they already have Eddie, um, the one girl's brother who got taken by your truly. <laughs> All those and have a different Harper, maybe um, Joyce. Joyce could be another figure. Be cool. Maybe a smaller Demogorgon. Um, yeah. 
just all those type of figures would be cool too because they don't have a whole big sure things line and it would be awesome it would be perfect I know McFarlane did that but they kind of quit out and stopped making the figures they just have one line of it and then just said yeah good you know one good line and they're like alright that's enough like they could have continued McFarlane would have made a lot more money made a lot, a lot of money doing a sure things for thing but then they're like oh avoid void series and Bandai is doing their own thing so it's them so then do this time and then and may the future they make more but I hope they do make more for the series or McFarland makes more either the way but um big thing I was going to talk about for the summer is um as I got the main person that I need or villain that I need for this um thing I'm doing that I talked about <laughs> so I'm planning on making like a big stop motion movie like over the spring and maybe start of the summer I'll start recording doing all that I already scripted like everything that I pretty much want to do with the movie you know ads and stuff uh, I'll show people some of my friends that do stop motions also or like movies like certain things and like other stuff like that that I like and see if they like the what I planned already but I'll probably put a trailer out like a teaser trailer like I'll have a teaser trailer and then I'll have a Full on trailer, but full on trailer probably won't be till midsummer or something like that. But we'll see. And then either late summer or Halloween will be when the movie actually is out. But I'm making it in the summer, so I thought I'd let you guys know that early so you're like, you have something to look up to, you know. So right now I'm still working on my stop motions, that's what I'm doing with my smaller ones. Let's make it smaller stop motions here and there, upgrading anymore. Um, better lighting, more um, props, and then stuff like that, and then eventually give me a whole thing set up. That's gonna be awesome. So, anyways, um, that is Vecna. He is amazing, amazing, amazing figure. Uh, if you guys have not picked him up yet, go pick him up. I don't know if he'll be um, at Target or Walmart anytime soon, but definitely go online and pick him up. Go to toywiz.com, Amazon has it. Um, Big Bad Toys has it. I tried I tried to buy stuff on there, but it won't let me log in or nothing or let me sign up. And it's like, oh, sorry, sign up error. Or log in error. I'm like, really? So I don't buy really much from that website. I just buy it from Toy Wiz or Amazon or wherever else I find good deals on figures and stuff like that. Or at least they're decently. Or trusted source it's a trusted website but anyways that's it hit like button subscribe comment down below if you guys like to see more figures or sugar things coming out uh, i would love to see more like i said steve nancy all the teenagers and all them um, maybe the younger teenagers too i know they're doing like a teenager ninja turtles thing like a dual pack you get ninja turtle and then you get sugar things character i might get the two newer ones that'll come out i think in march which are Dustin, and then I forgot the other kid's name. I don't know hardly most of their names. If I say a name wrong or it's the wrong name for the character, or whatever, <laughs> I forget the names. Whatever, I love the show because I haven't watched it over and over, but I gotta watch it more. But um, yeah. So I might buy those. So I have you know kind of like a big collection rather than buying like the really expensive ones that are from um, Mexico Toys or McFarland. But anyway, so that's it. Hit like button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the upside down.